Hey Pisces, Pisces lovers and friends. Welcome back to the Pisces portal. <laughs> Let's see what messages Spirit has for us for the week. This week. Mm -mm -mm. This might resonate. It might not. Okay, okay. <laughs> Oops. Ah. Let's see what we have going on here, Pisces. Wow. Well, alrighty then. Okay, that's about the amount of cards that we need. Um... The soulmate is here again, and we have emotions in reverse. We also have inspired warrior, and we have wisdom here, Pisces, for this week. I think some of you have lost feelings for a soulmate. Um, hmm, you're feeling inspired to do other things. I feel like you have a lot of wisdom in regards to where you want to put your energy moving forward, okay? Um, and it's not waiting on someone, okay? Right now, all of that passion and desire and fuel that you've had in your heart for someone, you're using that for other things. You're using that to, <clears throat> excuse me, elevate yourself this week, okay? I feel like you're not, like drowning in emotions okay um feel like you've already taken your time to do that okay taking your time to cry whatever the case may be and now you are feeling strong again and like you're ready to move forward okay move forward with strength wisdom more insight okay you've really grown and um i feel like you're ready to take on anything almost like after all you've been through you're at a point now where you're like you know what i can handle anything okay i i'm strong and nothing can stop me okay because choosing to no longer deal with someone or even, you know, just disconnect from your feelings for them may have been difficult for you. But I do see that, you know, you're like, I, I remember who I am, okay? You're not succumbing to your emotions this week, okay? You're moving beyond that. I also feel like you're protecting your heart, okay? He is geared up, okay? Like, he can't be pierced, you know? Um, so, I think that's where you're at, okay? It's a, it's a I shall not be moved kind of energy is what I'm feeling from you. Like, yes, I was emotional or yes, I was hurt, but now I can't be moved. And now I've gained so much insight from this experience. Wow, Pisces. Wow, wow, wow. Let's see here. Actually, I'm gonna pull some cards from this deck first. You're, yeah, you're getting stronger. I also feel like if you're if you're waiting for someone to come towards you or expecting them to, um, you already know what you're saying, okay, to them, okay? Like, imagine coming to this inspired warrior here and this girl with all this wisdom on some nonsense, okay, on some BS. It's like, uh, you're getting stopped right in your tracks. So I feel like that's the approach that you're taking when it comes to, you know, someone who you think is going to return 
with some nonsense, okay? You are protecting yourself, guarding your heart, but you also serving facts too. You know what I'm saying? It's like, because this person might want to manipulate you and you're just like, nope, I'm, you know, you got on the whole armor, okay? <laughs> the whole armor of God here. And you got your wisdom to back you up. So nobody is gonna, nobody is playing you this week, Pisces, okay? They they gotta try real hard uh, to get one over on you this week. <laughs> real hard. Okay, growth. Yeah, because you've grown and you've outgrown this situation, okay? You waited for some time for something to transpire and it just didn't, okay? You relinquished your power to this person, but now you're getting it back, okay? You're regaining your power by, again, guarding your heart, protecting yourself, okay? Hmm. And you've, look at how, look, this is how you've grown. This is how beautiful this is, okay? From A to B, okay? Look at all these beautiful flowers here. So even though you don't have this person's love or whatever the case may be, that has not stopped your shine, that hasn't stopped your growth, okay? You, you really did lose yourself and you lost your power um, and your strength, okay? Giving into them emotionally and in other ways as well. But you regain that through now protecting yourself and with your wisdom. We have boundaries here. So you have some boundaries now, okay? Your wisdom, recognizing how valuable you are, Recognizing that you're worth being protected, preserved. Hmm. Didn't I say nothing could pierce you earlier? Look at that. Like, <laughs> nothing can pierce you. Like, this girl is encased, okay? She's protected. After all this warrior has been through, with the wisdom they have, they realize that they are worth saving. They're worth salvaging. Okay? You truly are, Pisces. Movement meditation. I celebrate and honor my physical body through dance and movement, okay? For some of you, dance, movement in some way might be what helps you feel centered, might bring you back to a sense of yourself, okay? There was something else I was gonna say too, but maybe it'll come back to me. I think once some of you decided to move, okay, move away from this person, this connection, that's when you started to feel uplifted and inspired again. That's when you started to celebrate and honor yourself, honor your body. For some of you, you didn't honor your body when it came to your connection with this person. Wow. Mm. Oh, goodness. Okay. Like attracts like. This is, this came right over on the wisdom card. So for me, this tells me that you all have realized that where you were before is how you attracted this person. 
You've also realized that as you move forward, you have to have these boundaries, okay? You're trying to attract someone or just people around you who honor your boundaries. If you don't honor your boundaries, Pisces, you're going to meet someone who doesn't. Who can go past your boundaries unless you let them? If the door is closed and locked, okay? How, how is someone going to enter the door? How are they going to get through the door? We have company. And then we have doing better. I feel like... Hmm, some of you are really finding comfort in, you know, a pet that you have, okay? But some of you could also be finding comfort in the company of family and friends as well. You know, I think for a while you weren't doing so well because this card actually came out in reverse, yeah? But... You know, with this inspired warrior here, Pisces, with this wisdom, you are doing better. You are getting better. I feel like you have a new, um, a new way that you are looking at life. Hmm. Always seek balance. Positivity is the key and hmm, when in doubt, zen it out. Okay, Pisces? Finding your balance, meditating, okay? Doing things that make you feel centered. That's ultimately going to bring more positivity into your life. Okay. Do all things in moderation. You bust out of your cocoon. You know, I'm really feeling like this is more of that newfound wisdom that you're having. You're realizing that when it came to this person, you should have done things more in moderation. You shouldn't have given so much of yourself. Now, you know, as this inspired warrior, you're busting out of your cocoon. Because remember, he thinks anything is possible for him now. Okay? He feels like he can do anything now. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I feel like that's where you're at, Pisces. Okay, this week, you're recognizing your power again since you relinquished it to someone else for some time. I want to close this with one of the today's prayer cards. Wow. Live in harmony with one another. Be sympathetic. Love as brothers. Be compassionate and humble. Okay. First Peter chapter 3 verse 8. Pisces. I feel like this is where you're trying to go. You're trying to live in harmony with other people. Okay, I feel like you're trying to be understanding and compassionate and humble, but you're also, you know, as much as you may be trying to extend compassion and love to other people, you're also trying to extend that same loving and compassion to yourself by having 
boundaries. So Pisces, this has been your weekly reading. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye.